no basis we're gonna have to shuffle the cards but i wanted to give you a little bit of um the heads up and we do have five of wands so we might be conflicted maybe about an aries maybe about authority we do have the emperor about taking control that is a form of conflict there five of wands usually is about internal conflict but we might have like a you know I mean, if you consider your gentleman or your lady, your boss, well, you are going to have a fight. Just saying. Four of Swords. And then we're, we're going to stop talking. <laughs> That's the Four of Swords in love reading. It's like, please do not talk to me or please talk to my hand kind of energy. <laughs> I know I'm joking a bit, but probably this is the energy I'm picking up. Somebody who is not on speaking terms with um, somebody else. And now we have the magician. Guess what? Now we want to talk to them. Now we do have something to say and they better open, you know, open up. But we'll see. For one, you might even we might even be married to this person. Just saying. I know the cards are kind of difficult. I'm doing I'm using the uh, Druid Tarot and I combine two decks and it's a humongous kind of deck, so but I'll uh, I'll manage. Let me see bottom of the deck for you for this week. And we do have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Eight of Swords. We might be bound to somebody and the Hermit. We might be bound to somebody who hurt us. We do have the Three of Swords here. Three of Swords, Page of Cups. I don't know. Should we apologize, Pisces? There is an indication here, of, but maybe they need to apologize. Anyways, no matter what, the energies are saying we are in a mental prison. Whatever you think you are bound to and whatever obstacles you think you have actually. Um, it is the energy of King of Pentacles. Let's be creative and practical about it. Let's be smart with the Hermit. Let's shed a light on this because this one is only in your head. Eight of Swords. It's not a real obstacle. And you put yourself in a prison and you are and the prisoner and the guardian. So... So let's see actually what is going on. You might be dealing with a Virgo. Actually, you have twice the energy of Virgo, but you also have Taurus and Capricorn. And they show up all over your energy, Pisces. So on your side in the past, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. And let's see the possible outcome for the end of March. And again, it's about energy, so you know how it goes. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords. So we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. And we do have the High Priestess, so might, uh, we might have a little bit of a quiet time right now. It is um, the, silence, the uh, silent treatment, so probably you are not on speaking terms with this person and it's like, one is cold, the other person might be very um, kind and, um, you know, wanting to be generous to this connection. But the other person is like, no, do not talk to me. See, they, I mean, she turned the, her back on, on this. Of course, it's a feminine energy, but can be masculine energy. So we kind of have a difference already, right, in approach. So let's see. And we have the emperor again. Uh, Pisces, you might have an Aries um, in your life or maybe because, um, you know, Aries season is coming, maybe that is uh, an energy there. But in the past, we um, we had emotions for somebody. That's a page of cups, right? It's at the beginning of an emotional um, experience, I would say. And um, probably, I don't know, you know, you know what energy I'm picking up and I'm saying to you right away because of King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, the Emperor. Yeah, it is kind of a mature energy, but it feels like wanting to take control or keep a situation under control. This is how it feels. Um, the Emperor, he's, of course, he's like the, you know, the, um, um, we all aim to be an Emperor, right? Because we have all the layers of self-development in place, but I feel that, you know, um, you kind of came from a place of power uh, within this connection, but what a beautiful page of cups, right? This is having a cup of love for somebody, but it does look like something full force, right? Full kick. King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the Emperor. It was like, you know? 
I don't want to say too much because who am I to judge and who are we to judge and, and what's too much and what's less and what's not enough and you know it's a whole anyways I'm just saying but um it is it was from a place of um control and um and being on top of it kind of you know so I don't know if you are controlling this person might be an indication there or maybe you felt controlled that's why the emperor is on your side we'll see a little bit how it goes um but page of cups right like real love and for some of you might have been um you know in love with somebody in a position of power the emperor is also management authority a boss um and that kind of energy now Pisces, if you're wondering if they loved you back we do have the six of cups actually this is your the person you are connecting with uh, knowing that that is a soulmate bond soulmate connection this is about um being reminiscent about the past if you've been together and also the two of swords kind of confused right that's a two of swords it is the energy of being blindfolded and contemplating something but probably the way to go was a mystery to them but not the ways of the heart right that's a six of cups um loving you and cherishing you that and really cherishing kind of the memory of whatever was between the two of you and um in need i would i would say need of a decision kind of right or needing to decide something but i'm unable to do it that's a two of swords mutual energies between the two of you while well, somebody walked away and that was a missed opportunity we do have the four of cups and the eight of cups and eight and four it's double the trouble um so both realizing actually that this was oh it's like too bad right too bad too sad kind of um four of cups is also the energy of we were not paying attention we were not seeing the signs we are not seeing the offer we are not seeing the um you know the energy around it and the um, emotions all all these emotions surrounding this because we have cups all over the place just you know we have the uh, page of cups four of cups eight of cups six of cups so a lot of emotions and the eight of cups is the energy of i don't think they are the one um and just simply walking away uh from this opportunity and actually um after that realizing well maybe you know uh, maybe it was a bad idea. That's a four of cups, you know, seeing uh, things for what they are. Now, Pisces, right now we do have the justice and we do have the three of cups. So might be a Libra you are dealing with, um, but this is more than that. It can, can be, but I feel this is more about reconciliation, doing what's right, doing what's fair, bringing some balance and making a final decision in regards to a reconciliation to somebody. Um and i do love the three of cups might be that you'll and i hope you'll stay isol in social isolation but anyways three of cups is also the energy of a gathering of some sort and um you know you might kind of run into this person and then everything kind of balances out uh with the justice it's a it's a it's a beautiful energy right and it's a decision and i do love the justice on your side because it is the energy of the clarity of the mind it is the energy of uh you having the power to make decisions um you know and kind of using your better judgment you know to um to achieve something that is um making you happy and it is um Pisces, that is um a strong energy a powerful not strong that is a powerful energy on your side and I do love the energy, the overall energy, because King of Pentacles is, um, you know, the uh, the practical mind, and also the provider and the taking care of. And I also love the Hermit. It's the energy of wisdom and lessons. And then we do have the Emperor and the Justice. So again, you come from a place of power and a place of decision and a place of um, of strength. I would say at least this is how it uh, feels like. And the person will follow suit, I guess, because they do have the Ace of Wands. Somebody is quite passionate about you. They want a new beginning here, um, a second chance somewhere. And of course, this is the energy of um, desire. This is the energy of um, of it has to happen now, kind of, you know, um, of action. 
also so i believe they are equally uh, there to take action we do love the ones in in terms of what they represent action and uh, being dynamic and um, going after what we want and we also have the six of pentacles so they want to reciprocate whatever feelings you bring to the table or whatever um you know um part of yourself i feel it's a very fair one and a strong one but again um you know and uh, one that feels like why don't we play a little bit because three of cups is the energy of easy breezy but in the same time is balanced by the fairness of the justice you know we're gonna do what's right that's um and it's the energy that we love on this side again somebody is longing um for balance also justice and fairness because it's six of pentacles which is justice in minor arcana so you are mirroring each other uh, you do have justice, the major arcana, they have the minor arcana for justice. You do have three of cups, they have the ace of wands. It's um, a different type of energy. But in the same time, it's the longing of the new beginning that is um, there. Now, the energy between you and this person, Pisces, right now, we do have the five of wands. Again, we go back to that internal uh, conflict when we are shuffling. And also, we do have the four of wands. So this is an energy of um, foundations. This is an energy of commitment. This is an energy of of, um, of living together under the same roof. So I don't know how this um, resonates with you, but um, you know, I'm picking up the energy of a connection that goes very well because this is current energy and I already love this. Um, so maybe this is only a matter of should I live with this person under the same roof? That's exactly the combination of, of cards. Five of Wands with a Four of Wands. And probably they are asking themselves the same question, right? Four of Wands, we, if this is about a marriage and getting back together, it kind of makes sense, you know? But if this is about living together, well, you are at the same place with this person. It's like, you know, what am I supposed to do? What's expected of me? If this is about a marriage, because justice, we know, uh, can sometimes mean the energy of marriage and and contracts and, um, you know, all kinds of um, papers saying we are living together and we, we are not married, but we, you know. Um, it is about a house. It is about a house. It is about a home. I don't know if um, this is about buying one. We know Four of Wands is also about buying a home. Um, calling a place a home so you know kind of in that energy both of you and again you mirror each other but in the same time fundamentally there are two different um, you know kind of energies one on one side it's one of fairness on the other side is one of um, uh, passion and um, you know ace of wands is like I don't know it's just the beginning so let's you know let's take a risk and jump kind of um, energy with the ace of wands um, it's more balanced, I would say, more, more mature on your side, Pisces, um, the way it looks. But again, you, of course, you can uh, pick and choose, uh, you know, only what resonates with you. Well, moving forward, we are most in, and Pisces, I don't know, but it does look like a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. You have the um, um, Queen of Swords, you have Justice, and now you have the Knight of Swords. So it might be an air sign you are uh, dealing with, and looks like you are even manifesting this connection with the Magician and the Knight of um, and the Knight of Swords. This is rushing towards this person, but also an energy of manifestation, putting your intent out there and saying, you know what? Please bring me my air sign my way. But it's more than bringing your way because Knight of Swords is a card of action, is a card of courageous uh, move, movement towards this person or whatever gesture you want to, um, you know, put forward. And um, the magician is like, you know, taking action, taking action. And I again, that is this energy of a place of power. Um, um, the Emperor, are you kidding me? The Emperor, Justice, and now the Magician. Both energies of decision, of taking action, of knowing exactly where you're going and having a plan and just um, moving towards. Um, so Pisces, the, the person you are dealing with, they are kind of loyal to themselves <laughs> because they, are the, they have the same energy for the end of March. We do have the Ace of Wands and we do have the Six of Wands. 
I mean this has to be a victory or maybe they will have victory in their passion uh, towards you this is the energy of new beginnings and this is the energy of wanting to have a new beginning and the six of wands is the energy of marching towards what we want is the energy of we fought uh, a fight and a half and now we are uh, finally you know we are finally home finally home to this passion um, of their spices mutual energies between the two of you king of cups and the three of wands this is your energy and three of wands is the energy of waiting is the energy of expectations is the energy of ships are almost coming home i know i see them so close to results um but still there is a little bit of waiting and pisces probably you are waiting because you do have the king of cups or the other person is waiting on you um but i mean it's a matter of seconds right it is a matter of seconds and and it is a matter of um, when and not if you know this is how it feels um, wow I guess I want to be a Pisces today because there is so much passion so much stability um, I do love the swords honestly of course I love the ones um, in in a sense that there is a passion that is um, that is burning but I do love the swords we know it's the power of the mind and we know the mind is the most powerful ally of a human being right so i'm just saying and um and it's what uh you know pulls us out of trouble in some way so i'm just saying but boy they love you and they are passionate about you and on your side is this energy of action well you do have the three of cups wanting them back and in the past there was a couple of love in your hands for them so um yeah beautiful pisces let's ask for some guidance should we ask we already got the, the most amazing um energies so i don't know whose energy i picked up but it's a beautiful one one of love and passion and reconciliation and new beginning and fairness and justice and you know what i'm um strong manifestation or successful manifestation this is how it feels now Pisces let's ask for guidance let's see if we have to run in the opposite direction we do have forgiving and learning so as you release and heal the past you experience more love in the present moment so I somebody needs to forgive and learn from this whatever this was for you and I feel it has something to do with the hermit Pisces that is a lesson in this um, a deep lesson a wise lesson um of um of love of life of balance of fairness of karma you know justice right in the middle of the reading speaks of what goes around comes around um in a sense that what we send out into the world it comes back to us there are some lessons here and um of manifestation and actually it works um you know uh, maybe for some but there is there is a deep that a deep that is a deep um um, learning experience you know what happened and that is a forgiving one maybe you need to forgive somebody um, they might have um, you know walked away and did something wrong and that is a form of, of forgiving that we need to and Pisces we do have get to know getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost self to each other your bond deepens so it does look like a beginning of a connection for you uh where we start all over again right that's a it, it that is a reconciliation we have two energies of but it feels like new that is a newness to it that is different and pisces you do have it is safe for you to love it says open your heart to to give and receive the highest energies of all so yeah you can love this person um now let's have one surrender card and then we say goodbye we go home let's have just one the most important one what do we need to know and then and then we're good so we do have surrender fear Pisces I don't know what you are afraid of with all this power on your side the Emperor the justice and the magician 
the most uh, fearless kind of energies, right? One has the sword, the emperor is like, are you kidding me? I'm the boss of all bosses. And the magician is like, you know, I am going to transform you in a rat. Kind of, you know, it, you know, the magician has so much power and magic. So anyway, surrender fear, Pisces. And it says, let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment, focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. I love this. Um, anyways, Pisces, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. This is all that I have for you. Please wash your hands. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.